Hello everybody! Today we're going to continue building these reactors over here. Which already look pretty interesting. Correct, I need more stone. Yep, I did heat more stone. Goody. Whoa! That was not what I wanted to do. But, okay. Stone wafers. Yeah. Because I installed red power. I did not mean to uh, do that. But, there we go. Stone wafers can go in there. I'm going to need these bundled cables. I need the black insulated wire. I'll need the... You know what? Yeah, black and blue. There we go. <laughs> black and blue, just to make it uh, different. Uh, some switches. I need two levers. There we go. And sticks. Okay. I suppose I'm going to... Damn it! What? Because I really hate odd numbers. For some reason. There we go. Now I got an even number in my inventory. Okay. Which now reminds me of something. Ah. Put that there, put that there, take that. Forty five. I should have some stone in this cart. Come on, there we go, stone. And toss this in there. And go back out again. And since I'm here, I can turn that engine on. Yes, we're building a reactor while I do all sorts of random other little things to do. As so well, I'm here, I might as well just turn this on. Bing! Get to work refining. Okay. Uh, like a raised platform. That the reactors are on. No, I'm going to lose that, aren't I? Nope, apparently not. Oh, so close to having enough. You know what? We can fix this. There. There we go. Oh. So that will be the two reactor chambers for this reactor. quite finished is we need the controls so we can turn this on and off which will be right there Don't. I, want, I want the switch higher fine, whatever okay now, it is my understanding that, yes, I can turn these things on and off using redstone. Let me double check the wiki. Checking the wiki. Don't mind me. Uh, nuclear reactor component, no. Not energy and wiring. Stop it. To nuclear reactor. We'll just try it and see what happens. Uh, 
on the bright side with these, like, cables like that. Let's see. Yes, that worked. Good. be the blue cable. Bing. I'll shut that off. Dig a hole. Oh, shoot. Jump, jump. Dig a hole. So I don't hurt myself. I'm going to go this way. And we're in it now. I'm going to put that there, that there, that there, and voila. Take this, put that there, that there, that there, and voila. we use this bundle cable here. Where's the holes for the reactor? Oh. Okay. Torch, I need you. Light. There's one. So here's one of them. So I need this bundled cable to, like, reach about there. Oh, and there's the other one. And... Yeah, that's the blue wire. This is the black wire. Run over here. <clears throat> and hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I had to put the uh, doggy gate back up so my sister's dog didn't get in my office. We're testing to make sure that this was working. So that is red. Okay, it is working. Now we go back up there. This video is going to run longer than usual. I'll shut that back off. Uh-oh. That won't transmit into the, uh... Yeah, so I need to go back into here. I need some regular, uninsulated redstone wire. Did I make any? Did I make any? Did I make any? Uh, no. Do I know how to make any? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, I got redstone. This is why I had to find redstone in the last episode, anyway. I believe I just need some iron. And I have iron. I'll just use this ignit. Ignit, bring it with me over here. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is something I need to change in the future. This is actually meant to be a small house. Now it's turned into the, um... Uh, Workshop. Oh, yes. All I did need was that. Okay. And you're now getting an extra thing of iron. Congratulations. And now we wait. There's one. I need three. Two. Do I have a workbench in... 
really, no, I don't have a workbench in here. How does that work? Now I will have a workbench in here. A crafting table. Workbench, crafting table, whatever. I'm going to call it a workbench. Actually, that's the old name for it, so... And we got some of those, so... Do, do, do. Hmm. There we go. Apparently it's rather picky. But the red oil alloy wire acts much like the regular redstone, and it bleeds energy everywhere. So I should be able to put that there, put that there, come back over here, put that there, I'm going to put... get off there. Put that there. I should be able to run up now. And if I turn this on... I should be able to see it. Yep, see it? It's on. And now to show you the useful thing with the red power mod... I'm gonna come up here... <coughs> turn that off... Turn this one on... And we run back over here... Jump down... Blue is still off, but now... The black is on. That's what redstone power allows you to do. This thing is transmitting both signals to the same block independently of another. So I could control up to, uh... however different many wires I can make in different colors. I can control up to that many reactors. Using a sw an array of switches, and technically I don't even need to separate the switches like I did there. I just did that because it was fitting. And so on. So... Um... Cap these off. Of course, I need to actually, uh... Seriously, dog? My sister's dog is trying to break into my office. It's like, there's a person in there, I want to be with that person. Now I should stop mocking the dog, but... Mm, all it is is a poop and piss machine and poops in the middle of the kitchen. And the, and the main reason why the dog's not loud in my office is this is a brand new rug. <clears throat> as I motion at the rug where no one can see me because I'm not in anyone else's area where they can see me. But this is a brand new rug in this room. If we let the dog in here, it's just gonna piss and poop all over it. As she does with the kitchen. Which she is currently doing. Uh, but, oh well. And now I'm gonna have angry messages from animal lovers everywhere going, You can't hate your sister's dog, it's adorable! It's like you've never seen this dog. And it pisses everywhere. But, okay. I suppose this is gonna be the end of this episode, though, because I have finished the control system for the reactor. And I'm going to put the stuff here back into there. Yeah, the white insulated wire was supposed to be part of the stuff that controlled the cooling system, but I'm going to do that later on with a bigger reactor. Redstone. Yeah. And clay. But yep, here it is, so far. Did I really just... Yes, I did. I just really left a hole in the center. Aha! There. That's fixed. Now, I'm not going to put any torches in here. It's going to be nothing but electric lighting for this. But I haven't reached the point where I can install the electric lighting yet. <coughs> Behind the reactors, over here, will be a battery assembly, much like you see in my power plants over there. There'll be a battery assembly back here that will help store the power and control how it goes through the system. But we're not quite there yet. There's going to be a wall here, actually, separating the reactors from the rest of the building. 
but yep. We're getting there. This will be cool when it's finished. It'll be completely lighted with electricity. The first all-electric lighted, lighted building. Even this thing's not all-electric. You can see torches in there. The second floor, which I have not even finished... Whoops, over this way. Uh, this will be the first time in like two months I've been up here. This is supposed to be a library. But I haven't put it together yet. So it's just a big open room. Or I could make it like an assembly hall. No, it is not handicap accessible. <laughs> uh, put the stone in there, put the reinforced stone there, and this will be the end of this episode, because it's been running much longer than usual, but I don't have to worry about it too much, because I can load longer than 15 minute videos. So I'm going to get to uploading this, and then doing some other stuff. So have a good day. Today I'll probably have another one of those Kerbal Space Programs launched today. See y'all later.